Hi, and welcome right. to the Student Showcase. I'm Jason Shue. And I'm Chelsea Chung. And this is Runray from UCSC from Um Same Studio. Yeah, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, folks. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the audience here? Yeah, hi, um, I'm Sam. Um, I'm uh, Franco. My name's Jose. I'm Easy. You should call me Ethan. Oh, wait. Just, oh. Hello. Sorry if they're quiet here. Um. Oh, wow, here I am. <laughs> Sorry about the inconvenience. Yeah, we're having some technical issues. But one of the first questions that we wanted to ask was, what was the inspiration for the game for Runway specifically? Uh, so the story of Runway, it's basically, um, so I was, I was in high school back in Colorado. And back in Colorado, they have a competition called the Paper Fashion Show which is like you make clothing with just papers and then you know you have models actually wearing them and walking on the runway um so i was in that competition for like um two three years um i participated for three years and you know um we're pretty close to winning like each time but we never won the actual thing so of course, you come up with ideas like, you know, what if you can just like let your model just kick all the other people on the runway just out of the runway and then just you on there. Um, so that's how it came about. And wow, just... taking some, yeah, nice. Taking some revenge <laughs> finally after <Yeah>. years. <laughs> Very nice. I see right now you're into carrying your character. Looks pretty, looks pretty sweet. Who was oh. the um, 3D model for this game? Oh, where are your roles for? Um, so this game it's all made by myself. Mm. Everything yeah. from like the 3D to animations. That's super cool. Um, well, except the animation and some of the sound effects, mostly it's made by myself. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I basically started with like modeling um, you know, the main character. Um and I was going for, so her her body model is actually kind of following the original Tomb Raider's model design, <laughs> the that kind of like low poly bodies and stuff. But right. I didn't want to completely copy exactly the Tomb Ra OG Tomb Raider, so I decided to make her head just a box. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. It looks pretty swanky. Why don't you try yeah. going to um going to level, and then we can see how this oh, game is. Paris, Milan, New York City, London, or Tokyo. What, what's our choice here? Hmm. I guess I got recommend London. All right, here we go. But really, every level is really interesting because, well, once you enter it, you can actually <laughs> see that you put in like the like basically show off like the location, of course. In like a really interesting way, like really cool aesthetics. Oh, and there's a cool effect, yeah. So tell us what you like each level. How you get started for level design? Uh, so the levels, the the first version I put out of this game actually doesn't have like um any like actual. It just have one level. Um, and then later on, I thought you know I should probably adding like a few different kind of runway, and each level is basically based on you know, like the most popular um, city of fashion. So, you know, you got Paris, you got um, New York, London, yeah. um, Milan. And Jason's kicking the heck out of these models <laughs> off nearby, the, was, I guess, supposed to big wheel or the Big Ben. Yeah, Big Ben. Super, super swanky music, by the way. Loved it. Loved the music for this game. How long have you been working on it? 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I basically worked on it like all oh. summer and I continue like adding things um, during my first year um, mm. in college. Mm -hmm. Oh, I first made it in your first year of college. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Was it just like a personal project? Oh, there you go. See, um, the thing about like this level is that when you fall off, you also get points for dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you die a lot. So it's great. <laughs> It's nice that you don't get like um, they don't like really get punished for anything. Your your um main goals just get like heck a ton of points. Yeah. Oh, there you That's go. That's actually kind of like um, a bug for a feature kind of thing because it's like um, there's a setting supposedly to make the character not fall off the ledge, like when you're kicking people. But um, you know, sometimes you, there's bug happens and then you actually like, you still fall down into the pit. Mm -hmm. So then I was just like, might as well make a feature. Every time, if you actually <laughs> fall down there, you know, then you actually get point for it. Nice. I think it's a good, it's a good feature. This, um, or maybe a bug dis disguise as a feature. It's really yeah. good. I think it makes it very fun. Why don't you try like um, another level then? Right, Let's see the rest of it. Why go to Puri? I think this can be your choice because I voted for London. So making this game you made through the summer, um, it was a personal project? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So during that time, was it like your first game or you have, did you have like experience by then? Because this uh, is really I, college. Yeah, I did have um, quite a bit of experience. So I was using Unreal Engine for about two years at that time. Mm -hmm. And this game, I started making this game after, um, so I was running a, a game development club at my high school. And mm -hmm. we, before this game, we actually just published um, another game on Steam, actually. Um, cool. Also made with Unreal Engine. So, you know, that got me... Uh, I learned a lot from, like, making the previous project. And then when I started this, I kind of have a good idea of what I need to do and, you know, how to optimize it a little bit. Yeah. And I hope people in the audience can see that it feels super good to play. Got lots oh, of effects yeah. going on, got this very responsive, the screen shakes a little bit whenever you do anything. And in the combos, of course, those effects coming out. Mm -hmm. So since this was like, you've already had a bit of experience while making this game. Um, were there any parts of the development that are like really hard for you? Or like ran into any like trouble as you're in feature or anything like that? Want to tell us like a few stories? Mm -hmm. I would say this game actually went pretty smooth because this this is I would say it's like the easy project for me because it's kind of just like I just threw whatever is fun in there like whatever is ridiculous or just like it doesn't have to make sense which make it a lot easier to make in terms of you know making stuff um I would say the hard part is actually like trying to figure out what ability to give her so mm -hmm. originally, you know, we had, a, well, I had a lot of ideas going with like, you know, maybe add like stats to different clothing and stuff. And then, you know, maybe other abilities that like wrap people together and then throw it away all the way. And then I kind of just like, you know, play test it and then didn't like it and then just scrapped it. Um, so it kind of, it went for a lot of iteration and I finally decided just on this, you know, simple a very simple controlled game and then you know the clothing doesn't have any stat you can just like wear whatever you want oh, just for the heck out of it <laughs> oh. i'm sorry i'm just like i'm just like in awe of how Jason's playing. It's pretty good so far. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very intuitive and like, especially like, yeah, it's very responsive in terms of kicking. Like there's not really a, like too much of a downtime. So like these combos are really nice to hit. Yeah, you gotta aim for those clock people. Jason's get some more time and get some more points. <laughs> so what parts of the game are you like really proud of? Like what part like makes you go, I did good? Ah. Uh... I would really say the kicking system. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of a learning experience too. Um, I didn't actually play a lot of like action game. Um, um, so it kind of just like I was making it and I'm just like, 
you know, started by the basic stuff of just kicking and then just bumping the other person, coming to like, you know, learning like what make it feel good or feel better to kick. For example, like launching your own character a little bit forward when you kick a person and stuff like that. Um, kind of just like, just learn. I, I learned a lot from like making that mechanic. Mm. Oh, you got to wear that, Jason. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> also, the, the ending animation, whenever you win a level, really good. You said you worked with um, a few other people for the music and the animation? Um, actually, um, mu so the sound, some of the sound effect I just downloaded from um, website like Free Sound and stuff. Um, the animation, it's made from a Mixamo, which mm. is a survey service that they add, they can add like, you know, mocap. Uh, animation to your models and stuff um and all the music is made by myself oh i see very nice yeah so all the musics are like the instrumentals of like the old songs i made before <laughs> oh cool you're also like into music then yeah yeah i also did some like music production stuff cool wait i we're, you're in milan now very nice what was the um of these levels? What was the first one you made? Uh, the first one I made is the um, Paris map. Mm -hmm. And that was before I added the effort tower in the center of the map. Yeah, maybe you get there. Um, well, actually, you're pretty good in time now. You should just win everything, Jason. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, if I... <laughs> so... Sorry. <laughs> hey, all good. Go. You're doing well. You're doing pretty good. So, when you're making um, when you're making this game, it's pretty much like finished. Do you have any plans for games future development? Because I know you recently released um version three point actually just last month. Yeah. Well, uh, three point was kind of just like finishing off like the last little bit of things I want to make for it. Um, like I added the Tokyo map, which is actually one of my favorite maps in the game. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Um, in terms of this game itself, no, not really. Um, so I do have like some ideas that like, I kind of have a wish that I want to make a sequel of this game. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> what did you do in the sequel? So in this one, it's based off like, um, like, um, like some cities in here, some like famous like fashion cities. What would happen in the sequel? Um, so the sequel, I'm more thinking about just like kind of changing the things up. So, um, you know, instead of the model just walking, they might fight back and stuff. Um, and instead of like um trying to get a higher score kind of game mode, you might have like actual like level where you combat like you know actual enemy and stuff. Um, but it's just all ideas at this time. But in terms of this game, um, I mean, this game, it was, it, you know, I started it quite a long time ago. Well, not that long, but it, it's like a year ago. And um, honestly, I learned a lot throughout that year at, that if I look back to this project, it, it seems like such an old project to me already. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's already been like a year and everything well let's let's like go back a little bit oh. if you could like with your experience right now yeah. like what could you change like what did you change what, what would be different right now given your experience uh oh I'll, I'll probably make it more systematic mm. <laughs> so like it i mean the game you know it looked fine like as it is right now but if i look back at the the code and stuff it's like really messy stuff <laughs> oh, as long as it works <laughs> yeah as long you as know. it works yeah and um i'll probably try to make it a different style um so one thing i kind of like didn't like as much now is like um this kind of like retro style. I used to be really big about it. Like, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I kind of prefer to maybe be a little higher poly. <laughs> hmm. I will say yeah. the retro style is super charming. Um, yeah, thank you. Also, yeah, that's a pixelation. Also, this outfit, fire. 
<laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So how did you, I suppose we're almost at the hour, but I wanted to ask as well, how'd you come up with the clothes? How'd you design all the clothes? Um, so the clothings are really just kind of like a mix and match. So I just, I, I start off just like, mo- I, I have the character and I just start modeling like something on her. And then, um, and then I just threw that into like um, Substance Painter and stuff. And then I just um, try to put like texture on it and stuff. But I kind of like went on Google and then just search crazy clothing fashion, you know, and then just look at crazy things for inspiration. Yeah. It's really cool. Everything looks, um, all the models and stuff look super nice and unique. I like I said, I quite like the Lampali style, but I think you should also look into match your experience. Yeah. Okay. So we're almost, we're almost at the mark. So before we go for this game anything you want to shout out and what you want to thank for who worked in this game or just maybe stuff you want to shout out um not much people but if i have to i'll shout out to joan who's my um friend who used to help me out with like paper fashion show and stuff you know um so she was like um, one of the inspiration who like helped with developing the idea of kicking people out of the stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super uh, fun yeah. mechanic. Thank you very much for that mechanic. Yeah. All right. I guess we should wrap up then. Thank you very much, Jason, for playing running. And thank you, Sam, for showing us your hard work after all these years, which I assume um, not that long ago, but still a lot of hard work. And All right. We'll see you shortly for the next vlog, yeah. which will be Toho Bounce. Coming up Ball. next, Toho Bounce Bounce Ball. See you there. <laughs>